all right so this agent can essentially go to your competitors website by just taking your website url and do research for your competitors right so it uses perplexity sonar api and open ai api key and firecrawl in order to do all of this for you so let's put https revens.com right and then do analyze competitors you can also add description for your company here but you don't need to necessarily do that so i just realized the streamlet was not running i'm gonna add the url here ollie.social this time and then analyze this the list of competitors so what this does this will create a list of potential competitors for your tool and it's going to then look up web for details about pricing and so on and so forth so while it's doing the competitor research let's quickly go through the code itself for this we are going to be using agno agents and not crew ai we're going to be using firecrawl as usual and everything else is pretty much the same we are also adding exact underscore pi which is essentially a search engine which you can use in place of perplexity if you would like but i'm going to use perplexity sonar in this case so initial pieces are pretty simple we get the api keys from the environment if there are no api keys in the environment we tell the user to enter it here then once the user enters the key we define a function to save these keys and then we create a sidebar to show these details right now this sidebar contains your configure api key options where you can enter the keys reset keys save to environment file and so on and so forth then from this point if api status is okay you can start defining your agents so we will first create the firecrawl tools where we will assign this tool to an agent in case they want to crawl specific websites so firecrawl agent is equal to agent with model as open ai chat and i'm going to use gpt forum mini and the api key is coming from the session storage or from the environment file then we have the tools firecrawl tools and duckduckgo search tools so firecrawl will essentially crawl the website while duckduckgo will find the websites that firecrawl tools should crawl then we also need to show the tool calls markdown as true because we want to get the response in markdown we create firecrawl agent analysis agent in similar way we create comparison agent to compare these competitors and so on now in order to get competitor urls what we use is perplexity sonar and we are going to be defining the api here for perplexity and get the key from the perplexity website it's actually very simple if you look it up on google then find three competitor company url similar to the company with and then we pass the url and description if, if there's just url then we just pass the url be precise and only return three company urls only you can modify it to add more urls if perplexity is not defined then we use exa search to find similar results but i'm not diving into that because there are specific api keys that you also want to use there now once you get the company urls there are specific things we need in the response the company name pricing tech features tech stack key features marketing focus and customer feedback then we define extract competitor info where we will use firecrawl to actually go to the website and the url pattern that is defined here and extract these details about the company so company name basic info pricing details plans and so on and so forth we will also define the competitor json format in which case in which we want the response format to be so extracted info dot get company name extracted info dot get pricing and so on so we basically want to extract the details that we get from the firecrawl response and then generate comparison report now in this case we use open ai so as an expert business analyst analyze the following competitor data in json format and create structured comparison so return the data in structured format with exact these columns pricing key features tech stack marketing focus customer feedback so for company include company url for key features list three most important features only for tech stack and so basically define the response format here and from this point uh, what we will essentially do is generate analysis report once we generate the comparison report the next step is to generate analysis report where we will pass the prompt again and then post that it's simply the streamlit ui that we build on top of this if you go to the report this is how it looks like we have the redcom ai where essentially gives you the list or rather the pricing for their features the key features and the marketing focus now note that this heavily depends on the availability of website as well certain websites will not allow these crawlers to crawl for example buffer ai and alva ai and so on in which case it will not do that let's try for another website here explanx.ai and i'm gonna analyze competitors so it will generate the new list of competitors h2 ai and data iq and then sas.com and then it will crawl each of the websites so while it's doing that you can see it also identifies the market gaps and opportunities competitor weaknesses to capitalize on unique features 
or capabilities to develop pricing and positioning strategies, growth opportunities in the underserved market segments and actionable recommendations for the product. In an ideal world, it will show you three listings here or rather the three competitor lists here and you can actually look through each of them to compare your product. Note that this does depend on how specific you are. So if you mention the company URL and your service, the search will be way more cleaner. And if you just mention the company URL, it will, it's going to be more, you know, unclear rather. So for example, if I had mentioned Ollie.social and then it's an AI powered social media agent, then the output would have been different. But since I just mentioned the website, it will just give me the top three results where it appears and it may not be the best uh, comparison report that you would want to see. So always ensure that you're giving some description here along with the company URL to get the proper data. You can see once it does that, it uh, gets data for each of the products. It, it is crawling to these products one after the other. And note that Firecrawl will not just crawl the website homepage. It will go inside the sub pages to also find the data, right? Which is insane. And which is why it's a great uh, tool in order to get competitor insights. But this takes some time. So we'll just wait for a few uh, minutes before the response is generated. So one part of the generation is complete where you have the company name, the pricing, the key features, the tech stack, marketing focus and the customer uh, feedback. Again, the search is going to be dependent on the input that you put, right? And the context that it has. So if I had put more context here, it the search would have been different, right? So I'm going to try with Ollie.social again. I'm going to show you the example AI powered social media agent AI comment generation free AI tools for social media. And then let's do analyze competitors and let's see if the list is a bit more different. Here you go. So the list is completely different than what it was earlier. So again, like I said, the more context you provide to the search engines or rather the models, the better the search is going to be. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be all for the videos, guys. Thank you so much for you know watching this video. If there are things that are not clear to you, I would recommend watching previous videos and getting an understanding of uh, the structure of the code, the agents and so on and so forth, right? Thank you so much guys and have a great rest of the day.